Hi everyone, I'm Josh Hall and this is Sheldon Spackman and this is our weekly feature, In Case You Missed It, our look back at some of the most noteworthy stories from Red Deer in Central Alberta over the past week. Sheldon, one of the stories that you went out to cover this week was the sod turning for the long-awaited North Red Deer Community Centre. Yes, Josh, that took place on Tuesday, May 8th, so construction is now officially underway on the Northside Community Centre. It's uh, located in the Glendale neighbourhood on 76th Street, right next to Glendale School and the Glendale Skate Park there. It's uh, going to be a multi-purpose facility. There'll be uh, fitness uh, programming type events that can take place there, also arts and cultural type events, special community events, uh, very versatile building building and uh, city officials are very excited to see work get started on that. It should be ready by the spring of next year, Josh. That'll be very exciting once it's all uh, finished there. Uh, an up and down week at Red Deer College. On Wednesday they announced a new four-year bachelor's degree in digital animation. President and CEO Joel Ward talked about going to see Avengers Infinity War and staying till the end to see all the credits because future students of this program could be involved in projects that large. And then yesterday, uh, Red Deer College announced that it would be suspending intake for its music program, and we have reaction at rdnewsnow.com from one of the faculty members as well as a student who aren't too happy about it, and we also spoke to the dean uh, of the uh, department about uh, reaction to uh, Red Deer College. Uh, its, its music program has uh, long been a, a, a good part of the college, and it's it's produced uh, names like Katie Lang, and uh, it's obviously been very successful. So some reaction to that at rdnewsnow.com. Uh, Sheldon, a heartwarming story this week uh, coming out of the Sheraton Celebrity Dance-Off. Yes, uh, the 2018 Mirrorball winner was Dwayne Danes, and Dwayne has decided to donate the wheelchair that he used at the dance-off, a high-end sports wheelchair, to a surviving member of the Humboldt Broncos bus crash last month, Ryan Strashnitsky. He is from Airdrie and currently at Foothills Hospital in Calgary. He was paralyzed from the chest down in that crash and in need of a wheelchair. Dwayne and Ryan are going to get their schedules together so Dwayne can make that wheelchair delivery to Ryan, Josh. That's just so awesome. Uh, well done to Dwayne. Uh, we also have a reaction at rdnewsnow.com about an ugly incident at a Lethbridge Denny's. As well, Turning Point celebrated 30 years in the community this uh, week of harm reduction and coverage of North American Occupational Safety and Health Week, or NAOSH Week. Sheldon, uh, there was also some local hockey news this week. Yes, the Red Deer Rebels hired two new assistant coaches. There's that. Also, some senior hockey news here locally, Josh. The uh, North Central Hockey League is a newly approved league. It's going to feature a couple of local teams, the Red Deer Rustlers and the Sylvan Lake Pirates, Josh. Also, the Red Deer Primary Care Network this weekend. It's not a hockey note, but they are holding their women's fun run at Lindsay Thurber High School this Saturday. Uh, runners and walkers will be going around uh, 9 o'clock, so it's a pretty early start, but uh, the forecast looks good for the run, Josh. That's taking place on Saturday. All the proceeds raised from the Women's Fun Run will go to the Mustard Seeds School Lunch Program. Awesome. Thanks, Sheldon. You're welcome. For all the details on these stories and much, much more, you can head to rdnewsnow.com.